Oh, sport. Is that... Is that you? You know, old sport. I never thought I'd see you here. Since you saw this end, all. Okay, time to spill the beans. Right now, we're standing in the realm known as the flip side. It's a place where dreams come to die, and lost souls eat pizza and stuff. Basically, you've left your time line, and come to a place outside of your own reality. The flip side. The flip side, as it is currently known, is a place where lost souls retreat to. You didn't. You yiffed the damn facts about 12 times while it was haunted. Please tell me that you didn't actually think that a sentient child's mind was inside that facts while you were doing the do. Good lord. I may be a serial killer, but that's just wrong. The flip side allows souls to remain in fact, even if a soul's vessel commits an atrocity in the name of vengeance. Okay. Stuff a night guards into suits. Buy another kids. Being called for a brother blue testicle by workers. That's too much for a child's mind to bear. Over time, souls tend to retreat to the flip side. And as a result, their vessels become more terrible, which is why I'm here. I'd been here for years, to be honest. Or, some form of me has, at least. Here's a word of advice, sportsy. Never try to put a soul back into a corpse. Especially not over and over again. Never ends well. For the longest time, I always wondered. Why don't all ghosts do this? I know now. Years and years of clinging onto my own dead body has caused my soul to rot and tear itself apart. The more reasonable side of me has retreated here. More or less. I have no clue where my feral side has got him to. It's still out there, I bet. It usually comes back. It always does. No, other than us, there's only stray souls in me around here. But then again, I'm not exactly sure if I'm what you'd call a lie. And we ain't neither. Actually, that's exactly why you're able to move between the flip side and reality. The flip side is a place for souls to physically move around. If a normal human ever tried to enter here, through the glass of that arcade machine, their own soul would push back against the glass. Like a reflection on the other end of a mirror. Without a soul, nothing can push you back through the glass. You can come and go as you please. Interesting. I haven't really kept up to date on what's going on in reality. I last checked out around the early 90s. Granted, I could easily take a gander at what reality they've seen. Let me check. Okay, I see darkness, 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 the bomb. Darkness? Okay, I think I'm eating a kebab in the dark. You know, it's actually quite fortunate that you decided to come here tonight. Something eerie has happened. Do you remember the real Fred Air? Good, good. Anyway, he went fucking at you all. Well, being a non-literal entity, he spent quite a lot of time here, with the lost souls. Watching reality, waiting for the right time to jump in and fight evil. What? He hasn't been seen here in quite a while. He left one day, and never returned.
I don't know what exactly went down in reality. What? Something bad clearly happened to Fred Bear. This place has been extra screwed up since then. I've tuned about 335 guitars, made a few dozen pizzas, rugby tackled most of the robots at least once. I'm just really bored, to be honest. Say, if you're going, perhaps I could join you. I could use a friend, here. I'd like that, sportsy. I'd like that a hell of a lot. Think about it. You have some kind of quest to go on. I'm bored enough to do whatever painful task you set me to. It's a win-win situation. Besides, there's robots afoot. You're gonna want me around to help fight them off, right? Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. It'll be like a slumber party, except we're fighting seven foot tall animal robots and searching for dead people. Fred Bear. You know, after the company bought the Fred Bear character from us in 1983, I decided to invent this little fella as a way to antagonize them. My own C. Even snuck these cabinets into their arcades, only never figured out how to deactivate them. So he just put passive aggressive messages into the game. Good times. Okay, I just remembered, I left my lunch bags in the supply closet. At some point, we should make our way over to the supply closet. Let's just keep moving to the right, and hope we'll eventually hit it.
I heard a company rumor that one of Dutch Freddy's stalls had a hold on go kill them inside it. A fat dog with a waffle in its mouth sat on a john, wearing a crown, and basically ruled over time and space. Typical Freddy's rumor. I heard a company rumor that a fat dog with a waffle in its mouth sat on a john. Typical. Ah, the common Freddy's urinal, in its natural hat. One time, I was working in a location out in Colorado, and some madman blew up a urinal with firecrackers.